What is up guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn storing elements inside an array using CIN. Now in order to do that we have our array type integer and dragon would be the name of our array and dragon is going to hold, oops there we go, okay so dragon is going to hold 5 elements and then we can write C out enter five elements and add a space there and that line and now the real story begins from the next line so in order to take input from the user we will use cin but before that we are going to have our for loop and our for loop is going to have the starting point how much we want to go by we want to go by up till 5 so x is less than 5 and then the increment x plus plus and in the body of the for loop we can have cin so cin dragon and in parameters in the uh, square boxes we can type x add a little space becomes beautiful and now that the for loop body is complete I was checking for errors and I found that this bracket was missing. One curly braces. Curly bracket, sorry. And then we can see our first element. Add a gap. And then dragon. With which element we want to print out? We want to print the zeroth element or the zeroth index which have the first element and we don't know that element yet because we will take input from the user and then copy this paste it over here change this to last and change this to four and we have this line not n and l that was a little error and now if we go and build and run we can see that it prompts enter five elements now one two three four five and then we hit enter it says first element is one and last element is five so this is a pretty simple array that will show us the working of arrays basically what this program is doing it's just storing the input from the user it is taking five numbers and storing into this array that is dragon that is five characters long so again the trick is that you see out a nice beautiful heading and then in your for loop what you do is you type how the your base point where you want to start how much you want to go by and then increment and and then you cin and hold that value of x and store in the array dragon so this loop is going to run five times and it's going to store five elements in this x and this x is the uh, x are the element that are stored inside this dragon array and then we can print something out like first element is dragon 0 and last element was dragon 4 well the result is right here the zeroth index which the uh, element was 1 was here the fourth index which had the element 5 was printed out as last element right here so that is how you can store elements inside an array using cin so that's it for now thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one